All right, Brent Fordham, this video is for you. I promised you a video on how to place a bracket order in an options chain on IBKR. So here we go. This is starting from scratch. So if you go to new window and you grab your orders, I'm just going to place them over here. You can place them wherever you like. So I'm going to put my orders there. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to grab an order entry window. And I'm going to move this right up here. And then I think, yeah, that's perfect. So order entry, orders. And in orders, you can click trades and summary. And you can have all three of those. Now I'm going to come back to new window. I'm going to now go to options chain. And I'm basically going to open this up and make this the largest part. So you can kind of see what's going on here. But I'll drag that all the way down. And this is basically the setup that you would need to get in place to do this. Now I'm going to turn this off. So if you want to configure things, you just unlock it. You get the green border. That means you can add things from this new window. So I'm now going to lock it down. Then I'm going to come over here to these chains, and I'm just going to make this group one. I'm going to make this one group one and I'm going to make this one group one. Now they're all linked together, okay? Because you don't want to be, you know, placing an order thinking you're trading one stock when in fact you have a different stock on, on another section of your setup and you actually accidentally place the wrong trade. You don't want that. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you a hypothetical setup where I'm going to create a bracket order for selling a put option in AMD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. The puts are on this side, calls on this side. So I'm going to come over here and I'm actually, let me see if I put all strikes. See if I can scroll here. There we go. Okay. So let's say I want to sell the, well, for simplicity's sake, you know what, let's do a different stock. Let's do, um, let's maybe do Roku. Okay, so we've got Roku. Let's do something that's maybe a little more interesting. And what you want to do is let's come out here. Okay, so right here you can see you can pick 28 days, 35 days, 42 days, whatever you want to do. I'm going to pick 42 days. June 18th is my expiration. I'm going to sell the, let's sell the 300 put. So I'm going to come over here. You can see if you want to sell the put, you're going to click on the bid. And I'm going to click that. So once you click that, because these are all connected through this chain, it's going to put that order up into your order entry. Okay. So then from here, what you want to do is make sure this says sell if you're selling, buy if you're buying. But now you want to come in here and you want to say, my price I'm wanting to get, so the, you can see you've got $14.30 on the bid and you've got $14.75 on the ask. To make this simple, I'm going to say that we want to sell it on the bid. So I'm going to say $14.30, so you can just kind of scroll down, and oh, $14.25. So let's go $14.25. So that's the credit that I want, okay? Now, this advance button, this is where all the magic is going to happen. When you click this, it's going to actually bring up attaching a stop loss profit taker bracket. You're going to click this bracket button, and that's going to activate these two, okay, your profit taker and your stop loss. So what you need to say now is, okay, if I'm getting paid a $14 credit, what do I want to accept as having to pay to close? So let's say this position goes against you and you have to pay back the whole credit plus, let's say, $10. You don't want to have to pay more than $10 in addition to the credit. So you don't want to lose any more than $1,000. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to tell this that you're willing to pay this plus $10. So $24.25. So our stop will be $24.25. 
And all that is saying is that you're gonna you're willing to pay back your entire credit plus ten dollars. If it goes against you that far, you want out. Okay. Now on the other side of things for profit taking, what do you want the system to automatically close the position for? So if you open it and you collect fourteen dollars and twenty five cents, and you say, you know what, I would close this position if I could gain. $10 of the $14.25. So that means you'd be willing to pay $4.25 to close this. Okay, so let's type in $4.25. So the way we have this set up right now is saying your stop loss is going to be $24.25, which would be $10 of loss, $1,000, because it's $10 per share for 100 shares. And then you'd be willing to close for a profit if you could buy the contract back for $4.25 and keep $10. So then you can click away like this. And now it's all set up. You want to make sure that your quantity is where you want it. I'm going to leave it at 1. And then from here, you're just going to submit it. So let's see what happens. Gives you this override and transmit. I'm going to click override and transmit. There we go, percentage price, override and transmit, override and transmit, and let's see, okay, so we got filled. So you can see your trades summary, wait, let's see, did that fill? Oh, I think the order's just out, okay, so if we need to adjust the order, we can. So I can click in this box. We'll see if it'll fill here in a second. Make sure the volume's up on that. Let's click this. Let's take it down to 20. And you can adjust these if you want, but we'll just leave it for now. I'm going to sell for 14 and 20. Oh, now it's at 13.75. Okay, it's dropping us. All right, I'm going to go down to. Let's go down to 13.75 real quick and see if we can catch it. It's being a little difficult here. All right, 13.75, update. Trying to sell this contract for 13.75. So far, nothing. Come on. I would have thought it would sell quickly. Let's see. Let's do 13.70. Oh, now it's dropping again. All right, let's drop down to, let's go 13.55. Well, Let's see, let's go down 1360. Let's get this figured out here. Let's do 1370. Update. Order filled. Aha, we got it. Okay, so order got filled. Sorry that took so long. So we can see we got filled at 1370. And if you look at your summary, you're going to see 1370. So we had a commission of $1.62, we collected $13.70, so that means we made $1,370 on this contract. And our orders now, if you look at them, you've got your profit and your stop. So if this position goes against us, we can't lose more than $1,000 because we added the 10 to the credit. And I guess since we got $13.70, we, we could change this to $23.70 to reflect um, the correct amount and we could also say you would close for let's do 370 Order canceled. oh no okay I accidentally canceled that but you get the idea so that's what we that's okay so we're still live we could add a stop and a profit target if we needed to I accidentally just canceled that but you can see you would have your profit taker and your stop loss here, and you would come in here to edit them if you needed to. I accidentally hit the cancel button. So that's really all you need to do. You just need to pick out your option, sell it, 
it'll pop it up over here and then basically just can use this advance button to do the same thing. So if you wanted to, maybe you wanted to buy a put, you could then come over here, you could click buy, now you've got the buy side going. So now you're gonna pay, you know, 17.85, we can do it this real quick too, 17.85 is what you're gonna pay. You wanna put the bracket on there, so you're saying that um, you're only willing to sell this, let's see, your stop loss could be if you got if you had to pay $17.85, let's say you don't want to pay more than a total of $22. That would be your stop loss. Um, or actually, no, I'm sorry. It's the other way. You if your if your contract loses value because you're long, you're saying you'd be willing to close for $10. If you had to pay $10 to close. And then profit, let's say this thing swells and gains value, you want to take profit if, if you're up $30 per share on this. Okay, so you got the bracket filled out, you've got your limit order in, your quantity, your buy, and then you just click submit. And it's 17.85, hopefully you'll get filled here. We'll give it a quick second to see if we get filled. I'm just going to put live orders on here. And if we don't, you know what, let's just do market. There you go. So now you're in. So we got in, we paid $18.70. And we're basically saying that if uh, the value of this contract drops to $10, you want out, meaning you'd lose $8.70. And if it swells up to $30, meaning you're making $11.30, you would want to take profit on it, okay? And that's basically all this is. So what we can do now is we can, um, yeah, we can just leave these. So that's basically it. You can look at your summary. You can see your two positions and your commissions. The commissions are pretty low. One contract, you know, a little costs about a buck. Um, and then when you put on the other legs, you get a little extra um, that you have to pay. But it's a pretty simple setup with three windows and you could run your chart on a different screen or a different platform if you want or if you wanted you could move this over and try to put a little chart little chart screen over here um, but you can do whatever you prefer so uh, i hope this helped brent i hope uh, michael nadash shaheed hope you guys if you're using ibkr and want to know about this hopefully this was helpful um, brent if you have any questions please reach out to me in the comment section here or Hit me up on Slack and I'll try and answer any questions I can. Hope this was what you were looking for. If it's not, let me know. I could reshoot something else. And um, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend.